Hello and welcome to another edition of Talkin' Tunes. I am your host, Frank Walsh, and ladies and gentlemen, I have had the privilege of having some great guests on this show over the last few years, but today I have a very special guest for you. Someone who is not only a local guy from Randolph, but someone who has played all around Massachusetts, all around New England, all around United States, and believe it or not, even internationally. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you my guests, Tony DeBloy and his mother, Janice. Tony, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Janice, welcome to the show. Thanks, Frank. So, uh, you know, Tony, with that introduction, I know that you have been interviewed by many. You have performed oh, all yes. over the United States and all over the world. Yep, I've been to Singapore twice, Taiwan three times, Limerick and Dublin, Ireland and Canada, and China. all and China, Beijing, Wuhan, Shenzhen, and China. Wow! So uh, Lagos and Abuja, Nigeria. Now Nigeria, that's where to get there. You kind of go to uh, we flew Can down. Yeah, you go to Canton and then take a left, <laughs> and then that's how you get there. Correct? Um, we had to fly all the way down. Right. Frankfurt, Germany. Nice. We had a change in Germany to go to Nigeria. Lagos and Abuja. Cool. Well, Janice, why don't you tell the folks at home a little about who Tony DeBloy is? Well, Tony is an amazing person. Tony weighed a pound and three quarters of an ounce when he was born. Doctors actually gave me the choice to let him live or die. And I think I made the right choice. I was just going to say, yeah. you made the right choice. The world would have been missing out on a lot by not knowing Tony. Uh, he spent his first five months in the hospital. After you brought him home from the hospital, he was in and out of the hospital for his first two years. But at two years of age, I, he wasn't sitting up yet. So I wanted to give Tony a reason to sit up. I went to a garage sale and I brought him a little Magnus chord organ. <laughs> and my teachers told me that I should teach at the child's level. So I went and took that chord organ, I took the legs off from it and put it down on the floor where he was at because I wanted to give him a reason to sit up. The first six weeks was absolutely horrible. I bet. He put every combination of notes together that there was. Mm -hmm. Then I heard him put the first three notes of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star together. And I ran in there and I showed him the rest of it. Mm -hmm. And he picked it right up. And then all of his little stuffed animals all had music boxes in them. So then he was playing all the songs from the music boxes. Then my husband and I watched Lawrence of Arabia on television. He was two and a half. And one day I hear Lawrence of Arabia, the theme song coming from his room. And I thought my husband had left the record player on. So I ran in there, and it was Tony wow. playing on the organ. Wow. And, you know, it was amazing. On the organ? On the little Magnus Court organ. Yeah. And uh, then I got him piano lessons when he was five, and that around that same time is when he was diagnosed as being autistic. And he had already been diagnosed as being blind when he was six months old. Mm -hmm. So I'd been being a dutiful mother and saving up money for his college education. When I found out he was blind and autistic, I took him to a store and said, do you want a piano or an organ? He said, I want an organ. So we bought him an organ and got him lessons. And the rest is kind of history, as and they the say. The rest is kind of history. So Tony, what do, uh, what do you have to say about this? It all started out uh, yep. on a little toy, and then why don't you tell the folks at home about how many instruments you 23 play 23 musical instruments, and I sing in 11 different languages. I play piano, organ, harmonica, guitar, harpsichord, violin, English, handbell, civil bass, Pen flute, melodica, saxophone, accordion, clarinet, keyboards, and voice. Is that all? Yep. And then I was just given a trombone on top of that. Two of them. <laughs> Two trombones. 
Now, Tony, it's pretty obvious that music comes very from the heart, nat yep. naturally from you, and then it comes from within. Um, how does this happen? Does it just flow out of you? Yeah. Do you 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 feel it, and then feel it transfers it. into your fingers and into yes, your it voice? Yes, does. Yep. And you've been playing, you know, guitar for many many years. And, yep. You know, I've heard for, you playing I've during been, a little warm up. During I've been doing this for like. 32 years now. Wow. Mm, I don't know, you started when you were five. I started at so. five years old with no lessons. Wow. Well, there is a lot to Tony Dubloy for everybody at home to learn, but I think that it's about time maybe we can share a little bit of your music. You did bring your guitar today. Oh, yeah. So um, why don't you uh, play a little song? What, what, you, what song? I'm going to do, uh, it's called Country Roads. John Denver. John Denver. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. Country roads, take me home to the place. Mama, take me home down country road. All my memories gather round her, wild ladies, stranger to blue waters, dark and dusty, painted on the sky, tasty taste of moonshine. Drops in my eyes, country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads. I hear the voice. In the morning out she calls me Radio reminds me of my home far away Driving down the road I get a feeling That I've never been home yesterday Yesterday Country roads Take me home To the place I belong Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads, country roads, take me home, to the place I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Country roads take me home. Way down country roads take me home. Way down country roads. Yeehaw! Nice. <laughs> Tony, nicely done. Nicely done. And Don speaking of roads, we'll be going on a 30 day road trip to South Dakota. Tell us a little bit about that. We're doing 30 soul concerts all the way down, all the way there. Very nice. We're get, we stop in Chicago. We visit my friend Jennifer Price and Morris. Play. And we'll be at the Rosewood Health Care Center on the way down. Nice. Then we, we stop. We go all over Minnesota doing concerts. We'll be at... Uh, we will be Saint at Albert, St. Albert the Great Church in Minneapolis. Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota. We'll be in Pipestone. Then we'll be in Pipestone, Minnesota, doing a couple concerts down there. Then we'll be playing at a, uh, we play at the a lot of the senior centers. They'll have us come down there, do a concert there. And our shows are one hour during the daytime. We do our request shows. Very nice. And people request their favorite songs. And we tell them, shout out a favorite song they want to hear. 
Now exactly. these songs just come very naturally oh, yeah. to you. They, they like these. They like the older songs, like the older crowd, and they like songs from like the uh, the doo-wop era, from the '50s, all the way to the '60s, a little bit, sort of the '60s, right? Sort of era. Now, as you know, we heard a little bit about your your childhood there, but I understand that you went to a pretty prestigious school, uh, Berkeley College of Music in Boston. And what were you studying there? I was studying uh, jazz piano down nice. there. Then I went to uh, Perkins School for the Blind and the Music School at Rivers in Weston. Weston, Massachusetts. Very cool, very cool. Now, as far as um, you know, your, your styles, you have so many different styles and so many I different... I do classical, I do jazz, yes. I do rock and roll and yep. country. Yep, you cover the genre. Is there anything in particular that stands out for you that if I were to say... You know, describe the you know the you know if you, if you were on that desert island and you had to play one form of music, what what would Caribbean. that form would be? <laughs> Caribbean music. Caribbean music. Can you give us a little taste of Caribbean all music day, while you're there? All night, Marianne, down by the seaside, sipping sand. Even little children love Marianne. Down by the seaside, singing sand. Mary Ann, oh Mary Ann, oh won't you marry me? We can have a bamboo hut with brandy in our tea. A fat old mama, oh, she never will say yes. If your mama don't know it now, she can guess everybody all day, all night. Mary Ann. Down by the seaside, sitting in sand. Even little children love Mary Ann. Down by the seaside, sitting in sand. As you walk along the shores, people pause to greet. When birds fly around, their little fish come to her feet. In my mother's arms, I'm the only mortal man. Allowed to kiss my Mary and everybody all day, all night, Mary and down by the seaside, sun sand. Even little children love Mary and down by the seaside, sun sand. And when we marry, we will have the time. You'll Never song. I will be so happy. I will kiss my mother-in-law. Fooey! Children by the dozen. Another bamboo hut. One for every palm tree. And coconut. Everybody all day, all night. Mary Ann. Down by the seaside, sitting sand. Even little children of Mary Ann Woo! Down by the seaside sun sand ah All day, all night, Mary Ann Down by the seaside sipping sand Even little children of Mary Ann Down by the seaside sipping sand down by the seaside, sitting sand. Cha cha cha. Another gem, another gem, Tony. And speaking another of Caribbean, gem. I'll be on the. We're going on an Eastern Caribbean cruise for my birthday. And when is your birthday? January twenty second. Wow. We'll be, be going to St. Thomas, St. Martin Islands, and the islands, both of the islands. Very cool. Very cool. Now, I understand that um, you, know, you have quite a recording history behind you. Why don't you tell the folks at home about some well, of the things you've recorded? Well, I have seven recorded. CDs out now. Seven CDs. And people can uh, go on my website and get the CDs. And we are getting ready to record my eighth album called G is for Gershwin. G is for Gershwin. Yeah. Now, it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, all Gershwin songs with the, Win with the Bill and Bo Winnaker band. Mm-hmm. And the guys are going to be backing me up on my new album. These are the guys. They're going to be on my new album. 
Now, as far as the people at home being able to get your music, how can they go do on, that? Go on, go to TonyDeBlois.com, my website. TonyDeBlois.com. Yep. And what kind of albums do you have out there? Are I they all different seven, styles? Yep. So, There's, this one is, we brought, is Thank God for Life. It's all Christian music. Okay. This one's from, uh, we did with Cornerstone Christian Music over in Framingham, Mass. Mm -hmm. 4,000. And then we, this one is 4,000 Years of Music. It's all piano music. It's classical. And the jazz instrumental is Beyond Words. And one is the Johnny Mercer uh, songs. Mercer, Mercy Me is on one of the uh, albums. We just recorded my Christmas album. It's all holiday music. So if you like Christmas music. Who doesn't? I know I do. That's, <laughs> that one's thrice as this nice. This thrice as nice. I'm doing piano, vocals, and alto sax. Very nice. On that one. You play the sax oh, as yeah. well? Alto sax. Ah, who's your favorite sax player? If um, you've got to listen to one, pick one. I like, uh, I like Johnny Hodges. Johnny Hodges, right? Great jazz I listen to Johnny player. Hodges um, mm -hmm. every day. I, I listen to um, oh, WGBH. He, mm -hmm. they, they do jazz with Bob Palocha. Yep. He comes on every night. It's um, They do a jazz program. And I, I keep hearing them. They do a jazz program every night. Yeah. Nice. Now, Janice, um, I understand that you have another child uh, besides Ray. Tony. Yes, my other son. He's in the hospital in Dedham. Yeah, he's actually been between the hospitals and rehab and intensive care ah. for the last two years and eight months. He's now. in Highgate. And, uh, uh, doing doing better, I hope, and, and a we're lot trying better. to bring him home. Nice. So, it's nice. I bet you miss your brother being at home. Yeah. Does he have? We'll put any, him up on Facebook. I does think. he have any uh, musical talent as you do? Well, Ray tried. We did twin tune using mirrored images. Uh -huh. Yeah. And he played the organ. My, one time, my mom was in the shower one day, <laughs> and he goes, "Ray, what's that?" Oh, I don't know. You want to do any more of it? No. Do you know any more? Nope. That's it. So. It, so. so th that's what Ray came up with. So then we had Tony set it to jazz. Nice. And, like that. Uh, it's called Twin Tune because Ray was doing mirrored images one hand of the other. Very nice. And then uh, Tony's company then became Twin, Twin Productions. Twin Productions is my company. Nice. Now, tell us, uh, tell us about some of the famous people whom you have met well, in your travels. Well, Ray Charles, I've met. Um, How about the movie? Oh, Purgatory, the documentary. I was thinking about Journey of the Heart. Oh, the mo uh, Civil Shepherd in California. And I do have to mention to you folks, they have done a story of uh, resembling Tony's life uh, featuring Sybil Shepherd. And played my mom. Chris Dumbertow played, played me in the yeah. movie. And uh, the name of that is? Journey of Journey the Heart. Journey of the Heart. Journey of the Heart. If you go out and Google that, you could probably uh, you get that at Netflix. any liar. Library Online. and and um, now, how did that come to pass? I mean, did someone come to you, or did you? We had take been your on the Today Show. Somewhere? No, we had been on the NBC, Today Show, yeah. and I got a phone call asking if they could make a movie about us. Wow, so. we had a telephone call. And then we went out to California. Hands. Did five days of shooting. It took five days to shoot the movie. Because I understand you had a little bit of uh, part in that role towards the I end. I played where the you piano were playing at the end. Tony Five also of the played. songs from the soundtrack. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. And he plays himself during the very last scene of the That's movie. That's right. That's right. So who else have you met? Chris Donacho, Blake Heron. Oh, you know who else was there? Roger Calloway. Okay. He did the music for the movie. Nice. We, we ran into Roger Calloway one day. Very nice. <laughs> In the recording studio while we were doing studio. the playing. Very it. nice. And then we went to the, there was a cast party. Silver Shepherd was sick one day. Uh-huh. And couldn't make it to the party. Very cool, very cool. And I, 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 I like the, uh, and they let me play, jam on the piano. You also got to play for Julia Child for a party at her house when in she Cambridge, lived in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Julia Child. This is Julia <laughs> Child. Julia Child. Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit is right. Now but, I listen <clears throat> to um, Lydia's Italian Cooking. Lydia. Lydia's on right now. Right. What a, what a last name she has. I always butcher her last name. I love, 
um, they were talking about Italian onion recipes. Um, Very cool. Yeah. You like was, to you like to uh, you like to eat. I can my, tell my uh, mom, you enjoy good food. When I was at um, just to tell you, I was at blind camp. I decided I wanted to take a baking class. Uh huh. I made granola. Very baking good. Baking class. I also made cookies and then I made brownies. Good for you. Good for you. I decided to take a cooking class. Good for you. Well, I know Tony. You know, time is flying by yes, very, it very is. quickly, and. I had the pleasure of hearing you on WATD radio that's a couple right. of weeks ago. That's right, yep, Marshfield. And um, that's Marshfield a station, yep. station for the South Shore. And listening to some of the things you were talking about, I was very Maria, impressed yep. with how you inspire and motivate uh, the youth of today and people who have some challenges and mm -hmm. talk a little bit about that of why that's so important well, for you to we motivate. We have a message to say to people, it's okay to be different, believe in yourself, don't give up on your dreams, always have high hopes. The two most important words are thank yous and the three P's are practice, practice, practice. And speaking about dreams, there's a song called I got a name, it's about following my dream. And here is Jim Croce. Like a pine tree's lining the winding road, I've got a name, I've got a name. Like a singing bird in the croaking toad, I've got a name, I've got a name. And I carry it with me like my daddy did And not a dream that he kept hid Moving me down the highway Rolling me down the highway Moving my hits life won't pass by Like a north wind whistling down the sky I've got a song I've got a song I can whip her will and the baby's cry I've got a song I've got a song And I carry it with me and I sing it loud If it gets me nowhere I'll go there proud Moving me down the highway Rolling me down the highway it's a life old passerby And I'm gonna go there free Like a fool I am and I'll always be I've got a dream I've got a dream They can change the mind but they can't change me I've got a dream I've got a dream I know I would share it if you want me to If you're going my way I'll go with you Moving me down the highway, rolling me down the highway, moving my head so life won't pass by. Moving me down the highway, rolling me down the highway, moving my head so life won't pass by. Once again, Tony, once again, you never cease to amaze. And I wish we had a camera in the booth in there. You have a uh, very admiring crowd in the booth watching you. Thank you. And um, as, as I mentioned before, you know, time does have a way of slipping away. And um, why don't you talk a little bit about some of the local places that might be coming up for you? And well, maybe tell the folks at home once July again 25th, how they can get your, get your Mark music. your calendar. Um, 
We'll be playing at the uh, ADA event in Worcester, Massachusetts on, over at Union Station for the Americans with Disabilities Act. With, I'm um, doing a solo performance down there and Santon's gonna be one of the performers there. That's, he's also blind and he lives in Malden, right the next town over from Randolph. Very cool, very cool. We're in the progress right now of talking about two St. Mary's in Randolph about doing a concert. How about a for fundraiser them, there? And about doing one over in Situ. Nice. How about Situ so, Mass? Uh, people should watch our webpage. Watch our website when our concerts are coming up. And well, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be able to keep folks abreast with um, with what's going on here. And Tony, with the wealth of music that you have and the wealth of information and inspiration that you can share with people, I hope that uh, you will definitely come back and share your talents with us. We would like with that us to again. do that again. And, and I think that it would be a little bit remiss of us not to uh, not to mention how. You and I got to know each other through a mutual friend, Eileen Springer, who had previously been a mm -hmm. guest on the show. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, unfortunately, Eileen couldn't be here today, but we do want to give a shout out to Eileen because Good. without yes. her and our connection, yeah. you wouldn't be here today. Yeah, That's we, right. we actually met her on the WATD Over radio Marshfield, yeah. Twilight Showcase. Right. And then we went out and seen her uh, perform, perform yeah. Friday over night. in West Bridgewater. Over very, at Hardy's. very cool. Very cool. Well, Tony uh, and, and Janice, I, I really want to thank you very much for being here You're today. Welcome. You know, time has really, really flown. And uh, one of the things that I like to do, you know, towards the end of the show, when I have great guests like, like you on, is embarrassing myself. <laughs> and um, it would give me a great pleasure if we could uh, maybe take the show out with a little bit of doo-wop that you could sing yes. some doo-wop and I could either harmonize yeah, or you jump can. in there with you. So you harmonize it. So pick one and uh, hopefully I'll know it. And um, let's ladies do. and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I am Frank Walsh and we are going to go out with the great Tony DeBlois, his mother Janice, and uh, we hope that you tune in and tune on. So Tony, take it away. Old misery, and he's been.